Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be making some sorghum flour cookies. So as you can see from all the ingredients here, um, I'm doing a few replacement ingredients, um, which you'll notice when we get into the video. But I mean, it's tis the season. Time to make cookies. Sit down with a warm cup of hot chocolate or tea and just get into the mood. So you're gonna start off with either butter or coconut oil. So coconut oil and butter have the same conversion ratio. So you're gonna use either one stick of butter or one fourth cup of whatever oil you choose. So for cookies that are sweet like this, I like to use coconut oil. So you're gonna soften either the butter or the coconut oil. And as you can see, I just put it right on the stove as the stove is heating up. Um, and you'll just let that sit for a little bit. And then next you're gonna use one large egg. So I mentioned in my last video that I found out I have a little intolerance to egg. So I use this egg replacer powder and it's perfect. So for one egg, you're gonna use one tablespoon of the powder and two tablespoons of water. So you're gonna mix that up really good. It's gonna get into a nice consistency and then you're gonna let that sit to the side for about a minute. So next, the sweetener. So if you're using sugar for this type of batch, which is about eight cookies, you'll probably use about a half a cup of sugar or three fourth cup. Um, but Truvia is a mix of stevia and erythritol. So on the back of the box or on the back of the container, they have an awesome conversion measurement. So I used about two tablespoons, two tablespoons and a half of the Truvia. So depending on how sweet you like your cookies, you can adjust. And then we'll bring in our softened coconut oil and you're gonna mix that all together really good. Next, you're gonna add in your egg or the egg replacer. I think I let mine sit to the side a little bit too long, but it still did the job. And then you're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I really need to find my measuring spoons, um, but for vanilla extract, I don't mind if I go a little bit too much. It's, I love the flavor. So now for our flour. So you're gonna use one and one third cups of sorghum flour. And again, this is for eight servings. So any of the measurements that I use, you can double it, you could triple it, however many people you're cooking for. And then you'll add in one teaspoon of cornstarch and a half teaspoon of baking soda and a little pinch of salt. I'm using iodized salt. So you're gonna mix that up really, really good. And then we'll get into our extra ingredients. So I'm using hazelnuts, which is my favorite nut. I'm also using coconut flakes. And then my absolute favorite, the Lily's dark chocolate baking chips. No sugar, so, so delicious. Such a rich flavor. So I'll add in, just, I'll eye it a little bit. So this is gonna be the consistency of your dough.
So once I put them into little balls on the sheet, then I'm gonna flatten them a little bit and they'll come out just like this. So you're gonna pop those in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Definitely, I would say, keep an eye on them. But what I like to do is use a toothpick test. So you just stick a toothpick right in there. If it comes out clean, you know that they're ready. So I have to say these were delicious. I, I love the consistency of them. They were just perfectly crumbly and warm and good and sweet. So I would love to know what your favorite holiday cookie is. Please leave a comment down below and I'll see you soon.